James Harden has been in the NBA news a lot lately, and not for good reasons. Before the season restarted, Harden missed the start of Rockets training camp to go to Little Baby's birthday party. To make matters worse, he also violated the NBA's COVID-19 protocols by not wearing a mask to the party. Photos and videos were of course posted all over social media of Harden partying it up when he was supposed to be at training camp with his teammates. A few days later, when he finally made it to training camp, Harden had more multiple verbal confrontations with his teammates and even threw a basketball at one of the Rockets rookies. Harden's behaviour seems to have changed dramatically recently. He's gone from being calm, cool and collected to now getting so angry that he's throwing basketballs at his teammates. So what's really going on with James Harden and the Houston Rockets? Now before we take a closer look at this, please click the like button if you enjoy the video as it helps the channel grow and subscribe for new videos like this one every week. So what's going on with James Harden and the Houston Rockets? According to The Athletic, Harden had multiple verbal confrontations with his teammates at practice on Monday. One of the confrontations led to Harden throwing a basketball at Rockets rookie Jay Sean Tate, but fortunately the ball did not hit Tate. Now this all sounds very concerning from an outsider's perspective. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for training at a high intensity, but getting so worked up that you're throwing basketballs at other players is just not acceptable. Even more so considering that Harden is supposed to be one of the Rockets leaders. I can't imagine LeBron James or Steph Curry behaving that way towards their teammates. Now during the first few games of the season, Harden has looked engaged and seems to be trying to help his team win. However, he did request a trade from the Rockets several weeks ago and stated that he wants to play for a title contender. Now since making his trade request, Harden didn't show up to the start of training camp, violated the NBA's COVID-19 rules and then had several confrontations with his teammates when he finally turned up to practice. Now to me it looks like Harden is trying to force his way out of Houston but he might also be sabotaging a potential trade in the process. It's challenging for the Rockets to put together a trade for Harden because they want so much in return and fair enough. James Harden is one of the best players in the league and he's actually under contract until 2022. The Brooklyn Nets, Denver Nuggets and Philadelphia 76ers are rumoured to be interested in trading for Harden. However, neither team really wants to give the Rockets what they're looking for in return. The Nets are trying to put a package together around Karis LeVert, Spencer Dinwiddie and Jarrett Allen so they can create a big three with James Harden, KD and Kyrie Irving. However, trade talks between the teams seem to have stalled since the the Rockets are asking for one of KD or Kyrie with draft picks in exchange for Harden. The same problem also exists for the Philadelphia 76ers. Daryl Morey has joined the Sixers in the offseason to help run their front office and he's reportedly got a great relationship with Harden dating back to their days with the Rockets. However, the Rockets want either Joel Embiid or Ben Simmons in any trade package for Harden so trade talks don't seem to be getting anywhere with them either. The Denver Nuggets are possibly the best placed team to trade for Harden thanks to their young assets. The Nuggets would look to build a big three with Harden, Jokic and Murray but would have to give up some of their promising young players such as Michael Porter Jr, Gary Harris and Will Barton. I'm not sure this is a particularly good deal for the Nuggets as those young players were instrumental in helping the Nuggets reach the Western Conference Finals last year. So where does all this leave the Houston Rockets? Between Harden's crazy behaviour and the underwhelming trade offers that have been proposed, the Rockets are in a pretty bad situation and one that probably isn't going to end well for them. It's well known that trades built around draft picks and young players for superstars like James Harden can never truly replace the value of a superstar player like Harden. So the Rockets are almost guaranteed to lose out on any trade that they make for Harden. The Rockets could also decide just not to trade Harden and see how the season plays out. He is under contract for two more seasons so he can't really go anywhere unless the Rockets actually trade him and it would be interesting to see how John Wall, Christian Wood and DeMarcus Cousins fit with Harden and the Rockets. In some respects they actually have a much better team than they did last season. However, it's hard to say how Harden will take playing in Houston for another year. We could see him partying more, skipping practices and continuing to fight with his teammates, which is never going to lead to a successful season for Houston. So what do you guys think of Harden's behaviour lately? Do you think he's trying to force his way out of Houston? Who do you think can offer the best trade package for Harden? And do you think the Rockets should pull the trigger. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button as it helps the channel grow and subscribe to the channel for new videos like this one every week.